the only other drugstore find that I have is this Wet n Wild Gold Bar, which we just talked about. So we're going to put that aside, and we're going to go to Glambot. I personally love Glambot. Bought a lot of things from them. Again, the mystery gift Halloween thing didn't work out. But their customer service is very good. They didn't give me a hard time. Now, again, with every kind of customer service, any, don't abuse it. If you abuse it, they'll get mad. But they were very kind, very nice. And I'll show you a few things that I've gotten from Glambot. Some of them you might have seen before. Some of them are new. So when it comes to Tarte, remember I said I have Tarte and that um, Ipsy works? Well, yeah. I got this little Amazonian clay Tarte setting thingy from Ipsy. And yeah, I went out and bought the full size. I'm not like... I don't want to pull it up because I've accidentally dropped it because this was like a pressed powder. I've dropped it and it's all shattered, which is kind of like a happy accident because it really, really acts like the loose powder. So I'm not going to complain about it, but I'm going to flip it because I don't want to lose any of it in there. But the other two that I have gotten from Glambot. So this one, this one is one of my faves. Uh, I paid about $16 for it. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay After Dark Face and whatever. I don't know what it's called. But I like it because you can do a full look with it. And again, I always pick 80% fill. So there's at least 80% of the product left. And good. I've got a bunch of things that were never even touched from Glambot when I go with that. And again, one time I wasn't satisfied with the fill and they helped me with that. So, okay. But let's just say, like, you can still see the Tarte emblem in the blush. I mean, it wasn't used, and I've used it a bunch since I've gotten this, because you can do a whole face look with this. Um, the highlighter, bronzer, the whole thing if you want. So, if you're going to go on vacation, or you're going to go for like a weekend thing, you want something real quick, you can just bring this whole thing, and you got a whole face done. And again, I paid about 16 for this. The next thing I got from Glambot, that's from Tarte, is this one here. It is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2. I paid it, again, $16 or something like that for it, and um, it, I've used it a heck of a lot since I've gotten it, and it's still pretty good. Still pretty full. And this is actually still on sale right now at Tarte for uh, $31, I think. And that's American money. I don't know. Now, I remember I just told you that I've gotten things that have never been touched. Well, the Too Faced Chocolate Chip Palette is one of them. Uh, it had never been touched, but I can't quite say that. The reason why I got it at $8.50 instead of the $32 it is currently at Sephora. Yep. If you want to buy this brand new at Sephora, it's $32. I paid $8.50. Why? Because two of the colors have been repressed. Now, let's see if you can actually see this. They're, you can tell that they're just a little bit, a little bit less of the color. It's been repressed. Um, so what? I paid eight dollars and fifty cents. I have enough makeup. Like, it's it's not like I'm gonna use the whole thing. And if I do, I paid eight dollars and fifty cents, not thirty two. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Another thing I got from Glambot recently is this Lorac Blackberry Truffle Seduction. So this was part of a set, and I just wanted these colors. They're just dark, dark colors. So on their own, they don't really do much. But they're great for just like the color in the crease and what kind of... And these are the colors that I'm into these days. And it has a matte white. Love it, Matt. Um, No complaints at all. It was not touched when I got it. I've used a little bit since, you know, I've had it. But all those marks that you see in there, they're all done by moi. They're all done by me. When I got it, nobody had used it ever before. Another thing that I got from Glambot, like I told you earlier, was this Makeup Geek blush. It's like $8.50 if you want to buy it. American. And I paid $5 Canadian. I'm not mad at that. Because it wasn't used. Those are my stippling brush. So it's a really, really bright pink. And I need to look like I'm still alive and not amongst the zombies, even though I might go to like a Twilight Empire. But, um... And I like to use stippling brushes, so pick it up. Um, stippling brush are also known as dual fiber brushes. I have the one from e.l.f. It works perfectly fine. 
it's it's great um their brushes are are great um i like it because it just gives me a brush it doesn't put too much of the color because it's quite bright but i do need the brightness of it to liven my face up because sometimes I'm, I'm not that lively another thing i got from glam bot this was a gift is these cute little lashes um they're pretty dense but that's okay would i wear them i would if i could but right now my eyes are so so dry i can't wear my contacts i can't and even just like my normal lashes are pretty long with mascara and the extending one I, they rub against my glasses already so i can't wear falsies but maybe someday you know again i get to see the specialist in a couple months so but they're they're pretty cute they're with a very really full volume fine sure maybe someday someone will ask me on a date or something i want to look cute i mean i don't know probably not though because i'm kind of crazy but whatever um have y'all noticed that there's a dating thing through facebook now like this facebook Ugh, that's not going there all right so these are awesome awesome finds through glambot and their highlighter of course um this tartist tardiest i don't know it's from tarte Okay, it's liquid highlighter from Tarte. And you do not need a lot of this for it to make a pop on your face because all my stuff's on a wheel. You hear it? Wheel. Four bucks at Dollarama. Four bucks. I used to have like the e.l.f. highlighter, liquid highlighter. They're about the same size. This one's really, really liquidy. This one is not that much. You can tell the difference in quality. However, if you want to buy this right now, again, from Sephora or Tarte, I can't remember which one of the two, it's $32. $32 for a tube of highlight? No, can't pay that. But I paid $8 for it. And I'm very happy with $8 because it was not used. Again, it had never been used. How did I know that? Because when I looked inside the cover, there was no color. Nobody had ever used it. I, why did somebody give it up? I don't know. But I'm happy that it's now in my collection. And then the other thing that I got, because I was on like a highlight binge that day, is this highlight from Sleek Makeup. This is the highlighting palette uh, called Solstice. And it's missing the brush, but I mean, I don't need the brush. And what I'm saying, like, why would you go pay money for the Hourglass Ambient thing? They're kind of the same thing. This one's a cream. I love cream blush because I do cream contour, I do cream underneath, and then I put stuff on top. Because why? I don't know. Because why not? I have time and it makes me happy. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm overdoing it. I don't know. But I'm having fun. So, whatever. But, yeah. Again, this is another $7.50 fine that I paid for it. And if you want to buy it at full price, I'm not too sure. But here it is. Yes, I'm super happy. It, the cream had never been touched. The only color that had been touched was this one. That one is a little bit too light for my skin. Even though I could probably pull it off as like a quick high light. I don't know. I'm still learning about makeup, all right? I'm still learning. That is all the stuff I've gotten from Glambot. What I have left here is the few things I did get from Sephora. I did a little bit of Sephora shopping. And the things I found at Winners. Okay, so for you guys, it was a brief moment for me. It was a little bit. I took the time to put some things away. I didn't want anything to fall over and break. I think you understand that. Um, so what we have left is things from Sephora and things from Winners. Now, I never thought I could afford things from Sephora. I could. Um, again, sacrifices were made, but sacrifices in a good way, right? I still eat. My bills are paid. Whatever. Um... I've always wanted, you know, these colors, and it happens to be in a Morphe palette. So, I've been eyeing this palette. Um, it's the 35 Emboss Babe. So, it has all these colors. I love greens. I love purples. For the longest time as a teenager, my early 20s when I was really, really sick, I really only wore greens and browns. And I'm finding in the last seven or eight months, I'm really gravitating towards wearing a lot of purple colors. 
Uh, is it because I'm feeling better in my mind or is it because I'm going through stages of life? I don't know. Either way, I still love both colors and this has everything in there. And with all the other palettes that I found in my lifetime, I still, these are the colors that are missing. And again, Taylor was talking about it in one of her videos, like in her favorites. And then I looked it up and I'm like, oh, it's just 30 bucks for all of this? And I mean, I never owned anything Morphe, so I knew it was high quality. So for 30 bucks, all of this? Yes. So this was going to be like a Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday to me for me. But since I got the camera, this is going to be my birthday gift. Because my birthday was November 2nd. And um, my camera will be my Christmas gift for me to me. But yeah, these are the colors. I've used a little bit of them, obviously. Because I'm wearing them right now. I'm having a great time. I'm loving it. Very super happy with all of this. Okay, so I have a question for all you makeup people. I, I mean, this one has the names of the colors on them, but which are really cute. Oh, I have it backwards. Yes, am I the only one that obsesses over these little pieces of paper? I've recently figured out that these papers are to protect mirrors, I think. I don't know. But I freak out if like I can't find the paper that came and put it back in there. So it has the names of the colors and the, the names are really cute on there. I'm assuming that names of colors are some that are patented or trademarked or something like that. So maybe that's why they're getting a little bit creative. But I do like that none of these are named in a older, you know, not safe for work manner kind of a thing. Not that I personally care, okay? Um, you can call me whatever. I say the strangest things. I'm just saying that there are some parents out there in this world that think words hurt or something like that. Um, but anyway, I just like the colors. I really love this. Super happy. And the same thing, um, I also got this. This is my second time getting it, so I did do a little quick order before. And Sephora got a few things, including three little ones like this. Three little sponges, and I love them, actually. I thought they were bigger, you know, they're 10 bucks for three. Turns out they're this size. Turns out they're just this little tiny size. And that's fine. I use this one for like, you know, powders and stuff, which is great. They actually all have a little bit of different dimensions. And they also have different sponginess to them. Like density? Density is the word. That, I'm French, sorry. Different densities and different things. But I really like them. They're easy to clean. They are, work great. So I got that. And I had gotten, so I got this, and then I had also gotten this Makeup Forever setting spray. I love it. This is my second reload, because when I bought the Morphe palette, I did buy another one of these. A little bit of extra money, spent it. It's $18 for this thing. It works amazing. Usually I stick to like a physician's formula or my e.l.f. Dewey setting spray. The e.l.f. Dewey setting spray. The e.l.f. Dewey Setting Spray. Now, I'm like down to here in this bottle. I have another one back up. I mean, you know, e.l.f. has great products. I'm just not buying it from them anymore. Buy it at Walmart. Pay more money. Not the point. Um, but I, my fifth one back there is like my fifth repurchase. I just love, love, love this stuff for the Dewey look. And usually my everyday look is just, you know, physician's formula. But when I want to look extra, I use this one. For me, it just has this way of melting everything together and blending everything. So matte, so pretty. I love it. No complaints. So this is something I did buy. And this one, again, the Diva Curl was like an extra with my points. This is my second one. I'm still on the first one. Because I don't have that much hair. Like, I just have this much hair. And it's super curly. And this really brings out the curls, like, right after the shower. As soon as I go to the shower and you know, dry my hair, all I do is throw a little bit of this in. And when they dry, they're super, super curly. They're great. And the next day, you just spray a little bit of water in them and they just get revived up. I love this stuff. Um, would I repurchase a, a big bottle? Sure, if I could afford it. But right now, all I can afford are these little things. And again, I don't have that much hair, so they do quite last long. One more thing that I did repurchase was 
that just the regular Urban Decay eye primer potion. I just get the sample size because it lasts quite a while and um, it still has the applicator for it because if you get the, the bigger size it doesn't have the applicator and personally I like the applicator I like the fact that it's a smaller size money value for me it's worth it because it doesn't have time to go bad before I use it all up which for me is great um, same thing goes for um, the better than sex mascara and um, Nanny MUA just did a video on this oh my gosh I love his comeback I love his comeback he came back better stronger more stuff amazed at it so he's comparing things you know he's been hearing things up there so one of his videos which I'll look in the link below is where he compared sample sizes to the real thing and it turns out because he does the head math whoa whoa he can do head math I can't do head math I'm an electrical engineer whoa but um yeah so when it comes to mini sizes or travel sizes of a mascara you do get more for your money and it's better you know it doesn't again doesn't have time to go bad before you use it all up and he pointed out which is true in the travel size you tend to get you know the correct amount of product on your wand and instead just watch the video I'll link it below just just watch it these are two repurchases that I have done through Sephora because I really like them and I like them better in the travel trial whatever they're called minis whatever the heck they're called in the smaller sizes I like them better that way because that way they don't have time to go bad before they're done because I don't want to waste money. I don't have much money to waste and I think this is great. So I just told you that my birthday was November 2nd. So I did get a little gift from Sephora and it was these little bite beauties. This little one is called an Amuse Bush. I can say it right because I'm French. Um, it's really tiny but it still has like their stamp and everything on it. It's kind of cute. Um, it is really cute. I love the color of it. It's a nice nude but a little bit dark color. Um, so it comes out great. It's nice and creamy. It lasts. It feels great on the lips. Like there's a reason why they're a good company. And then it came with this other little taller. And they're very close in color. Um, but I don't know. They, they were free, man. They were free. And I really like them. So this is the little Amuse Bush one. And this is the lippy stick one. They're very close in color. There is a little bit of a difference, though. This one's more brown this one's more nude um other than that they feel great on the lips no complaints at all about that and i did cash in my points to try this smashbox photo and finish primer so this is the original photo finish smooth and blur primer if i can you know scooch the money i haven't checked how much it is the full size but i will buy the full size um up until now i've been pretty much only using elf primers because I mean I had a lot of them to begin with and they're really good but this stuff is great because I was using a poreless primer for like my nose and this part and then another primer for the rest of my face but this does the whole face in one thing and you don't need a lot I like two little tiny little things did my whole face today and um yeah it's raining and snowing out there and I went to the grocery store and I panicked and sweat and now I'm here and I didn't retouch up anything before I did this video. I probably should have, though. I did retouch my lips, though. That's about it. But this stuff, definitely worth it. Oh, I forgot. I actually ordered straight from Tarte, actually. Again, Isa, she loves Tarte. Um, so I got a little set. Um, this little here. So Tarte is pro to go. And I don't want to drop the paper. <laughs> Again, I love these papers. I love these colors. This, again, can do an entire look on your face. But what I love is this hype color, this gold. It is the prettiest gold, and you don't need much of it to make a bang, all right? That's just one swipe. Look how reflective. I'm hoping you can pick it up. It's just one thing. You don't need a lot of it, and it looks great together. You can make a beautiful eye look with this no complaints whatsoever what I did have a complaint about and I'm about to take back is it came with this little tardiest I don't know lash paint lash paint now I didn't like how it opens up because it, it opens up like this can you see that how there's kind of like no stopper 
I didn't like that. However, I do love how this works on my eyelashes. So I'm going to stop complaining. Some things bother me a little bit because I am high functioning autistic and new things, different things bug me. It takes some while to get used to it. But um, we're used to this now and we like this. So we're going to keep going. And in that little package was also this little lippy from Tarte. Um, again, I have so much of that stuff that little tiny things now, like that's all I really need. Um, it has a great, great color. It's really close to um, that color that I got in Ipsy today. Let me show you. So this is the color from Tarte. And let me just go find the one from Ipsy. Yeah, <laughs> might be some copyright problems here. Can you tell the difference? That is the INC Credible and that's the Tarte. There's barely any difference between the two of them. I can see them by looking at them closely. The Tarte one is a glossy lip paint when the INC Credible one is more of a, a gloss sheerness um, when you put on your lips because I can see from close up, but I don't think you guys can pick it up. The second thing I got from Tarte was this cute little set of four hydrating, I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are, but they're heaven. Um, now, they're so hydrating that if you pull them out, they'll fall right out. Um, but they are super hydrating. They have a sheer color on the lips. They smell like eucalyptus. Um, they feel great on the lips. They're very moisturizing put a sheer color on there and I mean there's not much product but it was $25 for four of them so that's not complaining about that but they really do a great job they have four different colors there's two neutrals this dark one and then a really red one that I'm not used to I'm not I don't know so there's like you know this neutral color and um but what I really really love about all of this so this is the red color that I haven't gotten around so they look like this before you start using them. <laughs> and then when you start using them, they're just so much hydration. They're just so easily movable around that, you know, they end up doing this because you just move them around. But that's okay because it's the other color. Um, I'm not worried about that. And one thing I love about this is all this packaging. It's cardboard. Cardboard. Yes. No more landfill stuff. Like, yay. Hello. So that is things I've bought and all I have left now are winter's finds. All right, I told you there was a lot of stuff. So now we're into winter's finds. Now, I did a quick little thing where I found um, these two. I'll talk about them in a minute. Stop putting your fingers in stuff at Winners, people, okay? Just please stop. Because when I went to look at this one, I wanted to open it to let me know if it was broken or not. And they let me know that that week they had thrown out over $300 worth of makeup. I know that there are some YouTubers that, that's their video, that's their thing, where they go to like TJ Maxx or, because TJ Maxx is the parent company to Winners, and other places, and they do a full look of like discounted makeup. I don't know what the health beauty rules are in the United States, but in Canada, you can't sell things that has been contaminated. So if they're ever selling sample ones, they shouldn't be. I'm not going to call anybody out for that. I don't have time to get in that debate, but it is part of the health and beauty rules. So whenever they find something at Winners and Marshalls, because that's what we have here, that have hand prints where people have swatched them, they have to throw it out. So, I mean, if you really want the item and you see that it's been swatched, don't tell the cashier because then they can't sell it to you, which is really a bummer because I found something I liked the other day and had one little fingerprint across it and she couldn't sell it to me. So, let's not go there. So stop putting your fingers in everything, okay? You don't need to swatch it. You, you, you don't need to. If you're not, I mean, it's discounted enough. So, just please don't. If they don't carry these brands anymore here, like mostly where I'm at, we have no access to this. Again, BH Cosmetics, Tarte Shape Tape, um, Models Own, stuff that I'm printing out here. We don't have access to this part of Canada to that stuff. And other than paying like quadruple the price to bring it in from another country, 
Winners is where we can find those things. And there are actually people in, in my hometown where I live, they make a living off finding name brand things at like my Kevon D. My Kevon D. We'll talk about that in a minute. They find the name brand things at Winners and then they put up a picture of it at Sephora at the real price and they sell it to people who just don't know the difference. And I've made my piece with that a while back. Anyway, whatever. It happens, it's a thing. But we don't want that to stop happening. We still want to have this stuff. So one of the things that I found there that was great um, was this model's own stick foundation. So I use, again, cream contour. So I usually use like the Mega Glow contour sticks from Wet n Wild. Um, in the darker one, I have 806 Where's the Walnut? Where's Walnut? Where's Walnut? Where's Walnut? Okay. Um, yeah. But I would always run out of like, you know, the concealer kind twice as fast as this one. So I was out to look for another, you know, Wet n Wild one. And it just so happened that Model Zone was in winners with their foundation sticks. Now this one is color 10. So for me, it works great as my cream contour. I've got my eye out in case I ever see another color 10. I'm going to buy a second one. But it was $5. It was just five bucks for all of this. And this is $7 on its own here in Canada. So twice as much, they last as long. It's great. I'm happy with that. Speaking of model zone, I had to pick this one up. It's called Full Moon. I don't know when I'm gonna wear these colors, but you'll understand when you see them. I could not not pick this up. Oops, little brush came out. But I could not not pick this up. Can you see how neon that is? You never know when you're going to have a need for neon. You're never going to know. And it was like $6.99. So, yeah, I picked that one up. And the other one was this NYX In Your Element Water. So, how many of y'all remember Tarte's fouled April Fool joke? Where they had that beautiful blue palette and everybody went gaga over it. And they're like, huh, it's just a joke. It's April Fool's. Like this. Well, jokes on Tarte, because guess what? Nick's made it. And I bought it for 20 bucks. Um, it's more than that in the store. Uh, so it does have the blues. Some of them are duochrome. This one here is duochrome. This one up here is. And this one, this is a beautiful white ish, but puns on pink. Again, I don't have time to swatch all of this, but um, definitely worth it. There's only two mats um, in the corners here, so you can't do a full look with, with just this. But it has enough blues that if you want to incorporate blues into something, like my purples in my brain. No, I don't think. I don't know. I've used it a few times. Very happy, again. But full, the joke's on you. They made it. So other things that I have found, like I just mentioned... Kat Von D studded lipstick, $7.99, not complaining, and it's in the color coven. I have been looking for this color in a cream lipstick for a while now, and funny thing is, is while I was on the bus to, you know, go to that end of town to pick up the camera, since winter's across the street, I decided to stop in, Touch and Soul actually had a little preview of something with this color, and I talk to them on Instagram, I'm like, please tell me that's going to be a lippy, like a cream, because the only color that I could find this, like, I knew Kat Von D had it, but I mean, I can't afford the regular price. No, I can't afford that. Um, I can only find it in this elf glossy lippy, and I mean, I love the color, but it doesn't last, and it starts tasting really, ugh, about like 20 minutes after you're wearing it, and it does... It looks great in pictures. It's great for pictures. But this, I mean, I wanted a cream one. Um, I knew Kat Von D made the color, but I couldn't. And I was so happy when I found it. I was like, oh, this is mine. Kind of like, you know, the Gotham or whatever his name is in Lord of the Rings. Um, but yeah, it's the color that I wanted. I've been wearing it this whole time. It stays on great. It feels great. I understand the price difference. It is worth the full price. However, I don't have that kind of money. 
I'm super happy that I was able to find it at Winners at a lower price. Something else I found at Winners for a lower price is this tiny little Too Faced um, in Mean Girls. And it can be tiny, it's okay. Because, I mean, this color is like neon pink glitter. And it stains. So I'm going to swatch it for you and it is going to stain my hand pink for the rest of the night. So I'm sure it wears off great. I don't have anywhere to go where I can pull off this kind of like a lip color. I mean, I don't have anything to wear. But I mean, I bought it anyway because it was $2.99 at Winners. And I mean, it's cute. Maybe someday I'll have some place to go with it. But yeah, I just tried to wipe it off and my hand is still kind of stained. But other things that I found there... Uh, melted latex. So this little one here, I mean, it was given to me to try out. I loved it. Tried it out. This color, um, I love it. This is one of my favorite colors. If you can see all my color rings that I have behind me there, this color is on pretty much every single one of them. I haven't found a look yet where, like, this lip color looks great on me yet, but I'm still working on it, okay? Because I just figured out how to pull off pale lilac on my lips, so... This beautiful, almost neon orange is going to be incorporated in one of these days. I have it. I paid $7.99 for it. All the melted latex are on sale for $12.99. And I got it for $7.99. Not going to complain. Now when it comes to this smaller one, I don't know what the color is though. I forget. It's like hot something. Um. I don't know. Anyway, I don't really know what the color is for this one either. The name of it, it's like hot something. Um, I love this color. I've worn it many times. These wear great. When they start to wear off, they wear out. So this is the other one, the smaller one. They wear off in a great way that kind of looks natural and doesn't give you that little, what does Safia Nagard call it? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I love those lippies, and the only thing that's left that I have found at Winners that I love is Pure Cosmetics Highlight. So this is a palette with nothing but highlight in it. So I don't know yet. See, this camera's awesome. You can pick up the different tones and hues of them. But when you apply them, they're all very, very light colored. They're a little bit sparkly. So if you're the type of person that doesn't like glitter in your highlight, this one isn't for you. This particular palette isn't for you. I've got other ones that are. But this particular one does have a little bit of sparkle in it. I like sparkle, so I'm not mad about that. But they all go very well together. Sometimes I'll put like a lot of sunset and then top it off with twilight down there. Um, that's pretty much what I do. Not Twilight. Oh, Twilight's over here. That's Frostbitten. Whatever, okay? They have names for things. I'm not good. I don't know names by heart. Doesn't matter. And the last two things are these little two. They came together. Um, Sculpt and Glow. So the first one is Sculpt. Now, they are really little. And they have a little piece of paper. I can't. Or plastic. Can't lose it. Um, when it comes to these colors, I have been looking for, like, you know, another color. Again, I need to a little bit change my contour color. I just mix these two together. Now, the pan size isn't big enough to put a regular size brush in. But I love mixing these two together, and my brush fits these two at the same time. So this one has a little bit of a sparkle or sheen to it. I don't know if you can pick that up or not. Um, I'm not, I don't know. Whatever. I'll use the other two, because I paid $7.99 for both of these, so I ain't mad. I ain't mad at all. And this one is the Glow, so it is a highlight one. And I am wearing this one. So, there is a difference. I'm wearing this one. It's um, a really nice nude one. It's not like a champagne. It's more like of a brown nude. And so, I don't know if you can see that. Again, I'm still trying to learn this camera. Uh, and then the lighter, lighter one is just way too light for me. It looks really chalky. Um, but that just might be because maybe I don't know how to use it right. But it's really, really white, really bright. And that's the other one. Um, or maybe it just doesn't go with my skin tone. Either way, 
I love it, and that's all the stuff that I have been accumulating over the past couple months. And I know that a lot of people don't, aren't here, you know, they don't come to No Holds Barred to hear about makeup. So I try to do less of that. But I do have to keep posting a little bit because Facebook is trying to take away my makeup line in my description of my page. So I've talked about it a little bit, but I saved it all for one thing. It is in its own little category on YouTube, so the people that don't want to hear about makeup, they don't have to have it in their face. Some people are here for other stuff. And there's someone calling me. So I don't feel like talking to people. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I know who it is, and I don't feel like talking to people right now. Um, but thanks every single one of you for tuning in. Please come back, I guess. Like, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, don't. Um, if you get any feedback, however, let me know. Like, I can't stop the ringers from ringing. I can turn my phone on silent, but I don't have a lot of money and I work with, with cheap, cheap phones and I can't turn the ringer off. But usually nobody calls me anyway, so sorry about that. But again, feedback is welcome. I have no other way of knowing if people like things or not. Um, if you don't have anything positive to say, you can go ahead and say it anyway, because people do, and that's fine. We'll deal with it when that happens, but I'd love to hear from you. Again, I'd love for you to come back. I've got other things going that have nothing to do with makeup at all. Um, if you want to see more about makeup, let me know. If you less, whatever it is. And with all that, uh, thank you very much. Have a great weekend. And... Hey guys, Future Sean here. Um, I know that I just finished showing up the makeup haul and um, did my best at editing. I'm still learning the function of the camera and I'm realizing I just need a TV culture tool. Huh, let's do that. But in the first part of Drugstore and Ipsy, I do mention how much I'm not too keen on Ipsy these days. Well, there's a new player in the game and they're called Face Sugar. And they asked me if I would like to be a brand ambassador and promote them. And I said, sure, because I kind of like it so far. Um, you pay $12 a month, a little bit more than Ipsy. But if you use the code, which means just copy-paste the link that I have in the description, it'll give you a dollar off your first month. So it's $11, a dollar more than Ipsy. But you get two to three full-size products. Full-size. Uh, no little tiny samples full size it's a $40 value and you can cancel anytime obviously or you can have a yearly subscription but let's just start with the one month first to see if we like it obviously and then there's also you can sign up for an extra members only at $2.99 a month or you can you can be billed for the whole year at $9.99 that gives you the option that when you want to go buy things from them you get it at 50 to 70 percent off retail value so, I'm going to give this a try because, again, I would not be bringing something that I didn't like. Trust me, there's more offers than that that keep rolling in. I liked that one. I picked it. Give it a try. I mean, 11 bucks. Try it. Try it for 11 bucks because you're going to get full-size products. And if you don't like it, then just don't do it again. I don't know. That's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. That's the latest. And, uh, thanks.